Now I'd like to introduce to you the physical cards. And the physical cards are to determine the physicality of a performer or character. You can interpret these as abstract as you desire, or you might incorporate it in a much more naturalistic fashion. So I'm going to turn one over and you guys are all going to cross the room in the style of this card. Remember, you can push this as far as you want to go. Shift, adapt yourself. Three, two, one. Good. Okay, I want you to push this next one as abstract as you can possibly go with it. Loose. Your arms and legs are loose. Three, two, one. Good. Okay, I'm going to give you your own individual card. No peeking until it's time. So, we are going to cross the room and we're going to do it in the style of a cannon. You're going to begin for me. Once he's taken a couple of steps into the performance space, then you'll continue. So, it'll be like a Mexican wave. We'll build the whole wave across the stage. Remember, you can interpret your card however you want. There is no right or wrong. We can't see what's on your card. Turn over your first card and off we go. free to adapt your movement as well. You don't have to get locked down into something. Feel free to experiment with something else. Don't let yourself get bored. to now continue the improvisation but instead of feeling locked in this to and fro motion you've now got free reign to travel across the whole room the aim is that you must keep traveling and let the cards spark a new idea find a space in the room maybe begin near a card okay your improvisation is starting in five Four, three, two, one. So find a partner and in your pair decide who is A and who is B. B is going to enter the space. They are going to do something with the chair. And by that I mean it might be that they interact with it, they might just brush the chair, they might sit on the chair, they might move the chair, they might, they're going to do something with the chair. But they're going to do it in the style of this card. So for example, fast, move quickly, yeah? Their partner is out front and they are watching very carefully and trying to interpret what it is that their partner is doing. What is the scenario? So for example, if I've moved in quickly, because this says fast, so I've moved in fast, I've moved the chair and I've exited, 
My partner is then going to decide that, oh, I'm trying to get ready for a party. Everyone's coming over and I'm late. Yeah. So she's trying to think of a, a scenario to impose on the scene. The only thing I ask is if you're the performer that's entering the space, that you don't act too much that you don't determine what the narrative is, your partner is going to determine what the narrative is. All I want you to do is to, to use the card to, um, to represent the way you move. <laughs> and partner! Uh, <laughs> it's his recently deceased nan's favourite ever chair. Oh. He's been sold to a pawn shop and he's stealing it back. Oh, yeah. <laughs>